It looks like right now, at least, he's going to miss some significant time. Like I said, I've talked to multiple different people by now, and I think I'm ready to present you guys with this new information. USG! What up, Benedetta? How to Mr. Neutral? Let's go! Keep boys up for the you in a minute, boy! USG! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hope you're having a great Monday. If not, hope this video can make it a little bit better. Like I always say, you got to go out there and dominate on Mondays because, number one, it makes the rest of the week that much easier. And number two, everybody else hates Mondays, so you can get ahead of the competition. And like I said, it just makes everything easier. And I do apologize this video is coming out later than what I'd want it to, but the past two or three hours, I've been on the phone with several sources close to this Texas ball team. And the reason I was on the phone for two or three hours is because I probably talked to four to five different sources. And I'm just wanting to know what is actually going on on because i'm sure most of you know what we're about to talk about quinn ewers he got hurt okay that's all fine and dandy but there is much i mean much more to it than he's just hurt you see the biggest question mark right now is and the main reason i made this video is because nobody even knows exactly how long he's gonna be out i've seen some credible sources say oh yeah he's gonna be out for two weeks and on the flip side, I've had people tell me he might be out for the remainder of the season. It's up in the air, and I think it goes around being said, this is a huge, I mean a huge, huge, huge deal, and I can't emphasize that enough. And for that reason alone, that is why this is the one and only topic we're going to focus on in this video. Like I said, I've talked to multiple different people by now, and I think I'm ready to present you guys with this new information. Let me give you a timetable, though. Yesterday, all these social media companies, they start posting the breaking news that Texas quarterback Quinn Ewers has a grade 2 AC joint sprain in his right shoulder. It sucks. Terrible to hear it i wish injuries were never a thing but it is what it is it's reality and here's where things really and i mean really start to get interesting with quinn ewers most people are running with this narrative it is expected that quinn ewers is going to miss anywhere from three to four weeks everybody's going with that but from all the people i talked to i didn't hear anything about three to four weeks the one answer every single person told me this morning was there's no timetable. We don't know. I'm just going to cut straight to the point. You can do what you want with this information I'm about to present you. I talked to many credible sources and all of them told me, hey, to be honest, Matt, we don't know. We don't know how long he's going to be out, but we know he's going to miss some time. And that's why I respect these sources so much because they didn't even give me a number. I've also been told this is something they're going to watch closely and they're going to evaluate him or reevaluate him every single week, if not every single day. Just from prior history, when people say there's no timetable for a return, you can almost mark it down. He's going to miss at bare minimum a couple of weeks. And the notion I'm gathering from this is I wouldn't be shocked if he misses four games and I wouldn't be shocked if he misses the rest of the regular season. It looks like right now at least he's going to miss some significant time. Check out this reply in the comment section. Ironically, this may help Texas, who has a history of losing focus against teams they should beat. With well, yours out, hopefully he recovers quickly. The rest of the team should individually and collectively feel pressure to step up in a big way. If so, with Malik, Texas should win out. I understand that perspective 10,000%, but if I was a Texas fan, which I'm not, by the way, I'd feel way better if Quentin Ewers was back there. And yet again, I understand the perspective. Texas may lock in because everybody's like, okay, we got to step our game up, but come on now. Trying to even act like Texas may possibly be better without yours, I think that's a little ludicrous. Hopefully the other players step up, but Texas is a completely different team with yours in there. That guy's special. So with that being said, I have no idea what the remainder of their schedule looks like. Let's pull it up. Why not? Saturday, they did beat Houston barely because I thought Houston got that one first down. Apparently they came up short. Then they had the perfect pass play. Or I said pass play. The pass play and the quarterback just missed the throw. That sucked. But even if Houston would have got the fourth down, number one, they would have had a score. Number two, they would have had a win in overtime. Moving along here, they, ooh, this could be a trap game. They do got BYU this up and coming Saturday. What about that at 2.30? Hmm, that's uh, interesting. I'll talk about that in a second. Also got K-State. That's not an easy game the following week. After that, you got TCU. TCU sucks this year. Then you got Iowa State. They're not too good. And then you got Texas Tech. Yeah, it is a pretty easy schedule from here on out. You don't even play a top 25 team. So it doesn't look like you should rush Quinn Ewers to come back, but knowing Texas, they might lose one of these games, or maybe two. And as we all know, if you are a Texas fan, you can't, every single one of these games is a playoff game. You can't lose an hour game, because if you do, you don't have a shot in the dark of making the playoff. Next man up mentality, and the funny thing is, I saw all these casuals going on Twitter. 
tell me if you saw this too, Texas fans. All these casuals going on Twitter and Instagram saying, oh man, it's time for Arch Manning. This is awesome. We get to say Arch Manning playing, blah, 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 blah. That's how you know there's so many casuals out here. Real college football fans knew this. Malik Murphy is the backup, not Arch Manning. Arch Manning's QB3. Gosh, man, it's just so easy to expose the casuals nowadays. How did you not know that? And speaking of Malik Murphy, he went off in the spring game. To be honest, I'd be feeling pretty good if I was a Texas fan because Malik Murphy, he looks good. Although we haven't seen him play in a big time and important game like he won these next couple of weeks, I wouldn't be feeling too bad. You got a more than capable backup. Now, is he as good as Quinn Ewers? Heck to the no. He can't pass as good as Quinn Ewers, but he is a little lethal on the ground. Moving forward for Texas here, I think the game plan's relatively simple. More quarterback design runs, and also you gotta lean on your offensive line and run the ball way more. Instead of Jonathan Brooks carrying the ball 15, 20 times a game, he needs 25, 30 carries a game. And instead of throwing the ball 30, 35 times a game with Quinn Ewers, you should only be passing the ball 20, 25 times. I think Texas should take the same approach that Alabama's taking with Jalen Milrow. You only want to throw the ball with Malik Murphy, and it's not that he's an incapable passer. He's more than capable of making the throws, but... He's a better running quarterback. Limit the chances for mistakes, so I'd only throw the ball about 20 times per game. And I'll show you this again here. I mean, take a look at this. If you can't bully BYU, K-State, TCU, Iowa State, at Texas Tech, you don't deserve to be in the playoff. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. None of these teams should even be competing with Texas. I think the game plan's relatively simple. Now, getting back on track here with O'Quinn Ewers, when is the potential comeback date? Today's the 23rd, and let's just say, what, what are we going to go with here? Let's just say he's out for four weeks. There is no timetable, but let's just say four weeks. Obviously, you're missing BYU, K-State, and TCU for sure. And more than likely, he'll miss the Iowa State game, and you won't need him anyways. And potentially, it's looking like he may be able to come back for the Texas Tech game. Do you bring him back for the Texas Tech game, or maybe do you have him on standby like you're starting Malik Murphy, but if things go south, you put Quinn Ewers in there. I don't know, man, but the best case scenario is you don't even need to use him for these five games, and you bring him back for Oklahoma. <laughs> Somebody's had a conversation. They play a high school schedule. They'll be all right. That is facts, man. Of course, you're a better team with Ewers in there, but if you lose to any of these teams on your schedule, you don't deserve to be in, even with your backup quarterback. Before we end off the video, though, real quick here, it is worth noting that Steve Sarkeesian stated this, quote-unquote, the goal is to get them back, quote-unquote, Oh, I said the quote. You get what I'm saying, quote unquote, sooner than later. Can somebody inform me in the comment section what that means? Because I feel like with every single injury, you want to get him back as fast as possible. Maybe this means potentially he's hinting at, hey, we're going to try to bring it, we're not rush him back, but we're going to try to speed up the recovery process. Whereas if you were in the off season, you wouldn't really be worried about it. But since you need him back, they're like, all right, we got to speed this up a little bit. Maybe that's what he means by that. Let me know. And also check this out. Sarkeesian also stated after the game that Quinn Ewers during the Houston game was trying to play through the injury. So I guess he tweaked it sometime early on in the game and then he tried to play through it. And then it was just to the point where it's like, all right, can't play through it anymore. And maybe that's why he suffered the injury because he was being a little bit too stubborn and I been there myself you want to compete that's what competitors do and he didn't take himself out and we saw what happened extremely unfortunate and i meant to say this at the beginning of the video but texas fans let me know in the comment section how are you feeling about this what's the mental state of that texas football program right now or the fan base at least are you feeling confident in malik murphy or potentially if murphy's not playing good arch manning are you worried a little bit that you don't have your star quarterback anymore in quinn ewers i don't think there's a wrong answer if you're worried i get it and if you're not worried i also get that texas from top to bottom though so talented you should win out there's a lot more i could say to this but i really want to make this a short simple and sweet video we'll see what happens we'll see but keep your eyes on that byu game that one's gonna be really and i mean really interesting let me know your thoughts down below but uh